Welcome back to the Financial Times, where I'm joined by Pierre Nonterme, the Chairman and Chief Executive of Accenture, which is one of the world's biggest business services companies. Now, Pierre, it's been a good time for the consultants recently. We've, in the FT, we've covered PricewaterhouseCoopers and Deloitte posting very impressive uh, revenues for the last fiscal year. Uh, last month, you reported revenues up 3%, I think, in US dollars and up 11% in constant currencies. That's pretty impressive growth. Where, where's it coming from? I mean, indeed, uh, all the industry and especially Accenture, we are enjoying good growth uh, in the marketplace. And needless to say that we are in a world which is changing a lot. Uh, I mean, you know that very well from a geopolitical standpoint, from an economic standpoint, but as well from a technology standpoint with all these digital revolutions. Mm -hmm. All our clients aim at being the disruptors uh, in the marketplace and not being the disrupted, and indeed is driving growth in the business. Okay. But you've grown up in, in your history serving uh, primarily, I suppose, the, in, the incumbents in each industry, in each of your business verticals. How, how is that now, now that you're drifting towards becoming more of an advisor to uh, disruptors? Is there a tension between the old client base uh, and the new client base? No, I do not see any tension. I see more synergies or anyway, all the players in the marketplace, whatever you're in the telecom, you're in the banking, you're in the retail or consumer goods, all the, the incumbents, they want to change, they want to be more uh, successful in the marketplace, they want to grow, they want to rationalize their business on one hand, which is playing a lot with our strengths, for instance, in our uh, business uh, process services standpoint or outsourcing uh, services standpoint, or they want to grow the top line where we can bring all our advisory services and our digital uh, services. So we are serving the incumbent, we're serving the new players, and they all aim at leading in the marketplace. Mm. It seems you're taking this digital pivot very seriously. I think you've done, done almost 40 acquisitions in, in, in the past two years. Um, how is that changing the, 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 the character of the firm? It's changing a lot, and we indeed have been transforming Accenture a lot these last couple of years, creating a new Accenture to lead in the new. When I'm talking about the new, now we're talking about digital-related services, cloud-related services, and security-related services. Okay, and let's talk about the, the, the headcount expansion. I was talking before to an analyst who asked me to ask you about the, uh, the <laughs> pace of growth, because I think you added 100,000 people last year. You're set to add another 100,000 this year. At what point does the correlation break down between uh, headcount and sales? Or are you just be going to become the biggest, co uh, biggest company in the world? Uh, we're going to grow and we're going to hire as many people as we need. And when I mean people, highly skilled people. So indeed, uh, we're more than 350,000 people now. Last year, we recruited uh, 100,000 and probably we're going to do the same next year to add very uh, uh, specialty skills. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, this is uh, an election year. Well, it, it, we have an election coming up next year, and the topic of offshoring is always very politically sensitive. Um, there's, every candidate has um, put, puts that topic on, on, on the stump at some point. Um, to what degree is, um, is Accenture affected by the sort of political headwinds surrounding the movement of jobs outside, particularly America? Yeah, I mean, not that much. We, we of course, uh, uh, looking at this uh, environment. The point is for us to be good citizens. The reality is we're growing our weight count everywhere in the world. So we're not in the situation where we have less people in the countries and more people offshore. The reality is we have more people in the US, we have more people in Europe, we have more people as well in the other markets. So overall, I think we, you just mentioned, we, we are recruiting 100,000 people across the world on the entire planet, including you know most mature markets. So we are very good citizen. Mm -hmm. And just finally, as, as you look around the globe, where, where are you most um, uh, ambitious to, to, to grow? Wh which regions promise the, the greatest growth prospect? And I would say everywhere. If I'm looking at last year, fiscal year uh, 15, for us, uh, we've been growing double digit in North America, in Europe, and what we're calling the gross market, the rest of the world. So very balanced growth. And this is very good for us because it's creating durability in our business and resilience. Bien, Anton, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a busy couple of years for the Dutch telecoms group KPN. It fended off a hostile bid from Mexico's America Mobile and then instigated a cost.